Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will just separate text and numbers. There are many methods. The first method that I will show you that is very easy, but that is static. That is not a dynamical. If you change the original data, that can't affect. Okay. That static method is just come here and copy this text. Copy this, paste it here. After that, press Ctrl E. See the text has separated the same the numbers. Okay, just copy the number and paste it here and press Ctrl E. It will just uh, uh, separate the numbers from um, text. Okay, this was the easiest way. But this is static way. Okay, but how to do it dynamically if we would like to like let's come here and we want to let's change it for example this data. Okay. See, this has not changed with that. So this is static, the control E, the flush fill method. This is static. How to do that dynamically so far? That we will just use now a method. Let's come here, right? Is equal to, we will use find method. After that, open this curly braces. And just write 0, comma 1, comma 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then close this bracket. After that, select the field, okay, comma, and then select this field, and then close this parenthesis. After that, we will lap it inside another function, which is f error. If there was any error, so just handle that. Let's move to the end and write empty string. Then we will wrap it inside main function, okay, to find the minimum value. At the last, we will use lift function. See, use lift, okay. Open it and then select this data, comma. At the last, just write minus one and then close this parenthesis. Press enter. See, the text has uh, separated. Let's drag it. See, we have all the text which has separated from this data. But how to do the numbers? So, to separate the numbers, we will just write equal to substitute. Then we will select this one, comma, this one, and uh, um, the third parameter would be, so that is just write an empty string, close it and press enter. See the number has separated from that, let's drag it. See we have all the numbers which are separated from the text. So this was the second and let's now update it again, what happened. See, that has dynamically changed, the data has changed. So this was the um, separation of text and numbers in Excel. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.